Hi, David Ogren, David Ogren Golf Academy. One of the things I do to help my players become a master or mistress of variability, in the case of Coach uh, Megan, is to help them learn different follow-throughs. And so what we're going to be working on in this video was a series of different follow-throughs. Now, Megan is definitely better at some than others. But as we go through them, I'll explain to you what they're for. Okay, I'm going to start off Coach Megan with something um, easy. So Coach Megan, if you would please, make a golf swing with your normal follow-through, your full follow-through. One more for us, please. Okay, Megan, full follow-through, please. So the first variation of her golf swing that Megan's going to show us is what's called the umbrella finish. She's going to finish with the club um, a little bit less of a follow through but kind of having it vertically in the air as if she's holding an umbrella over her head. Go ahead, Megan. In Megan's case in particular, she needs slightly more hand action through the impact zone to achieve this. Okay, so the next one is what we call a two-arm straight finish. When we teach the kids, it's A, L, and Y. So when she's going to make a backswing, it's going to be mostly a full swing, but she's going to stop with her two-arm straight right out in front of her um, on the follow-through. Try again, Megan. Don't rush it. Have good form, please. Alright. Okay, so so far Megan has struggled with this. So Megan, stand there at a dress, please. Now if you would gently pick the club up and put it in front of the ball. And now just gently turn towards the target and point the club right at it. You see that there? That's about where I want you to finish. Alright? Go ahead and let's try it. Very good. So Megan has clanked a couple of those two-arm straight uh, follow-throughs. So what she's going to do here, she's going to put slightly more weight in her heels and do it one more time for us. Perfect. Yeah, Megan's grunting and growing here, uh, gro uh, grunting and groaning, because now she's going to follow through like she's got to hit her 7-iron 140 yards with the trees right in front of her. She's going to have a very abrupt follow through. Very good. And I have double dog uh, dared Megan to make it shorter. So here at the David Ogren Golf Academy, I don't train Megan just to make one swing, a great big full swing. I try to coach her and encourage her to try different follow-throughs, different angles to produce different shots so she's better able to handle the conditions out on the golf course. Okay, I want her to be a master, or in her case, a mistress of variability. Thanks, Megan.